Freezing your embryos, how does it work? Hello, welcome to Fertile Minds, and my name's Imogen, and I'm Scientific Director at TAS IVF. Vitrification is the process by which we freeze embryos. During this process, we draw water out of the embryo and we replace it with cryoprotectant. This part of the process is key because if the water is left inside the embryo, it will form ice crystals and the embryo will burst. The vitrification process is really fast. It happens in less than a second. It's done by putting an embryo on the end of a stick, which we call a rapid eye stick, and it's plunged into super cool air. So it's minus 196 degrees Celsius. And that whole process, putting it on the stick and plunging it into the um, super cool air, it has to be done within 45 seconds. Embryos are assessed on day five to see whether they are suitable for vitrification or not. Depending on your treatment plan, it may be that we're going to freeze all of those embryos, or we might be transferring one embryo and freezing the rest. So on day five, we will look at those embryos and we'll see which ones are suitable for vitrification, which one, which one we're going to transfer, if we're going to do a transfer, and which ones will be discarded. One common question we often get asked is, will my embryo survive the vitrification process? We've found that 95% of our embryos will be suitable for transfer after they've been vitrified and warmed. Once the embryo has been vitrified, it can stay in storage for a long time. The length of time in storage that is allowed to stay can vary from, from place to place, but biologically, there is no reason it couldn't stay there indefinitely. The temperature of storage is minus 196 degrees Celsius, and there's no biological activity at that temperature. One of the things that patients are concerned about is the identification of their samples in the laboratory. We use RI Witness to tag everything that comes into the laboratory. So when semen comes to the lab, well, that gets an electronic tag. When eggs come into the lab, that gets an electronic tag. When we vitrify embryos, they also get a barcoded tag as well. So each individual embryo will have its individual barcode, which is read by an infrared scanner. The barcode actually links the, your name, your date of birth and your address to the sample that we have. So when we pull out a straw to be warmed for embryo transfer, we scan that barcode and your name will come up on the screen to say who that embryo belongs to. The same happens in the reverse when we're freezing or vitrifying embryos. So what happens when you're about to thaw an embryo? The embryologist will select an embryo to thaw and we make this selection based on which is the next best embryo to thaw. We then pull this embryo out of the liquid nitrogen tank and we scan it for its barcode. Then we pass this embryo through a series of solutions which essentially rehydrates the embryo. So it draws the cryoprotectant out and it replaces and puts the water back in. And our embryo will then be ready for transfer. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. For more information about all things fertility, subscribe.